Hi everybody and welcome to War Veggies. I'm John, this is Daisy, and this is an infinity mirror. So what exactly is an infinity mirror? It's an optical illusion. It's used by separating two mirrors with a ring of LEDs. And it creates this illusion of depth where there isn't actually any depth. So the portal itself is only about half an inch thick, but the illusion is that it stretches several feet into the background. And this is a really cool effect for your Necron gates, your webway portals, and of course, your warp constructs. And the way it works is when the power is off, it functions like a single flat mirror. When you activate it, the reflections bounce back and forth several times, slowly fading into the distance, and that's what gives it the illusion of depth. So today on War Buddies, we're gonna show you kind of how to put one together and how to apply them to your battlefield. So we've established that infinity mirrors are pretty freaking cool. But how do you build one? Well, thankfully they're not that complicated and they're not that expensive. Most of the materials that you need are right here. You're gonna start with a simple flat mirror, so it's a little scuffed up, ignore that. You want one that's about the right size and shape for your project. You're also gonna want a rope of LED lights. You can buy these online. These came cheap from Amazon. There's some batteries in there, and you're good to go. Plenty of different colors and styles to choose from. Then you've got your one-way mirror. Sounds complicated. It can be a little pricey. But what you're actually looking at here is a picture frame with mirrored tint applied to it. Not well, but applied to it. You can get the mirrored tint at your local hardware store. It comes in giant freaking rolls. Buy them, last your lifetime. And the important characteristic that you're looking for here is that the War Buddies logo is visible underneath it. So some light is being allowed to pass through it, but you can also see my hand in the reflection. So some light is being reflected and some will pass through. That's gonna be very important later on. And the actual setup looks like this. You can take your LEDs, drop them on top of your mirror, kind of arrange them artistically around the sides. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna take the one-way mirror. So once again, this is gonna allow some light to pass through and it's gonna reflect some light back down. You simply lay over the top, and it looks like this. And that is your infinity mirror. It's going to constantly reflect each light over and over again, losing a little bit of energy each time, and giving you that long tunnel effect, which is really cool. And honestly, it's best explained with lasers. So to kind of help me visualize what's going on, what we've done here is I've set up the flat mirror on the right and the chaos gate with its infinity mirror on the left. And we just put a piece of white paper in front. I'm gonna cut the lights here in just a second. And I'll use a laser pointer to kind of show you what's going on with the mirrors. So first we're gonna point the laser beam at the flat mirror. It's just a single reflective surface. And as you can see, it gives you a nice, crisp, single beam of light. So all the light that's hitting the mirror is being reflected off of it and onto the paper. For the infinity mirror, however, you'll notice that we still have that bold, bold beam, but also it breaks out into these little bars kind of off to the right on the paper. And what you're actually seeing there is all the reflections, a little bit of light is escaping each one, and that's what gives you that sort of cascade effect. And that's really all you need to know about how to build your own infinity mirror. You can incorporate this into any kind of terrain that you want, where you want to have that sort of distorted reality effect. And I'll tell you, it's a really good way to turn heads at a tabletop when people walk by your terrain and then realize that it vanishes into the distance where it shouldn't be. So how you incorporate that is entirely up to you. For the chaos gate, the back is the flat mirror. That's a circular shape you can see there. There's a few rings of wood that made up the frame. It was just craft wood. Circle that in plastic card. Put the LED ring in there and drop the one-way mirror on the front. And then you can fancy it up with the little teeth and horns and spikes and all that that you like. Hide the battery pack somewhere. 
We'll switch there in the back. And you're in business. That's pretty much all I have about Infinity Mirrors. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like or comment below if you have any other questions or if there's anything else you'd like to ask about. Stay crafty and have fun.